Right, this particular test match in Hyderabad between India and West Indies began with so much of promise and then it ended in an anti-climax. That's because the West Indies second inning completely collapsed, which means that India won this match by a huge margin of 10 wickets. Interestingly, this is India's first ever 10 wicket uh, win over the West Indies. So here's the match sem summary if you look at it. Uh, West Indies began well with 311 in their first innings and uh, India just got a little bit of lead with 367, but it's the second inning innings by the Windies which made the huge difference to the game because 127 was never going to be enough they were already trailing by 59 runs and then India knocked those runs off rather easily 75 for no loss with three short 33 not out with me Ajit Agarkar Courtney Walsh Courtney if Windies were to make a match of this the batsmen needed to put their hands up you expected them to do that but unfortunately they didn't give any runs for the bowlers to play with no, I mean, the first innings I got a score that was on par. Mm -hmm. But second innings, um, the second innings folded up and no runs was put on the board so that the bowlers could go out and try it. So, very, very disappointed. I mean, everything happened in a session where, after doing so well, getting India out, India had a lead. But I still think the West had a chance to bat. Put something decent on the score, on the board, 200, 250 would have been a good challenge for India, but mm -hmm. that wasn't, the, wasn't to be the case. Mm. All right, he says 200, 250. You think even lesser than that? We, we saw the no. pitch behave quite differently. Yeah, I mean, 200 bare minimum, really. I think uh, that would have probably put a little bit more pressure. I mean, Courtney is a nice man. He's being nice to the West <laughs> India. I think that was a pretty disappointing performance <laughs> yeah. from yeah. from where where they started this test match. Yeah. You know, they, yeah. they played well on that first day, uh, came back in the game, you know, kept mm -hmm. pulling India back even today morning. Uh, got back in the game and even yeah. though India took a 50 odd run lead, uh, India had to bat last on this pitch. Uh, they had to show a bit more resolve. It was still yeah. still a good pitch when India bowled. Just, I mean, yeah. spit, uh, Jadeja got three wickets, but none yeah. of them really was, you know, because of the ball. Look, Jason Holder just missed a straight one. Yeah. Ambrose, after playing so well, mm. uh, played a poor shot. Uh, Shai Hope again spun a little bit, but he'd still be as a batsman who was fairly set would be disappointed. So, uh, yeah, Umesh probably the difference. Uh, yeah. You know, kept running in, kept getting crucial wickets. Mm -hmm. Well, that's got to be a very disappointing performance from West Indies. It's uh, you know they were well in this game for a large period of those uh, two days. Today was a very disappointing game. Okay, I'm just looking at the performance of uh, Umesh Adav. I'll get another. As it, it's been a game that's been dominated by fast bowlers. Courtney, I'll get you on uh, Umesh's performance. You know, as far as Indian pace bowlers are concerned, this is the third best performance by a pace bowler in Indian conditions. For him, the way the pitch behaved, it looked quite batting friendly throughout the uh, duration of this particular test match. For him to have picked up those 10 wickets, what do you make of that? It was a batting power. Paradise, as you could. I would say parallel, but it was definitely a batting wicket. You could mm -hmm. see it was easy pace. Not a lot was happening. There was, was not a lot of sideway movements. Mm -hmm. So he had to keep running. And what he did was running hard, hit the right legs, got a bit of reverse swing. And as the game go, went on, he got more confident as uh, is the line he wanted to be hit than the leg. And he did that very consistently. So, I mean, and not only that, he lost his partner in, after 10 balls. Yeah. So he was more or less on his own. I, I thought that Virat used him wisely in terms of using him to get wickets on attack at time. He might have been a bit expensive, but in the context of the game, it has proven that um, his 10 wicket was very, very crucial. And you know, hats off to him. I mean, to get five wickets in India is always a big challenge, but to yeah. get 10 in a match is a, a mammoth effort. And I, I just hats off to him. Tremendous exploit of fast bowling. And I think this will give him more confidence as well, because a, a few people were probably knocking him that you know he wasn't proving his work, but I think he has done that today. Okay, we're talking about Umesh's performance and we mentioned this is the third best figure for any fast bowler in Indian condition, an Indian bowler. And you've got a list of Jawagal Srinath there right on top. Kapil Dev uh, features there twice, but the third bowler with Umesh Shadav picking up 10 wickets, 133 uh, runs is what he gave. Uh, it, it was an outstanding performance, I'll say that, because it got uh, Ajit Agarkar to even tweet, you know, someone <laughs> is so reluctant, you enjoyed that. Yeah, I mean, I've always been a big fan of Umesh's bowling. It's uh, It does all the hard yards, you know, plays a lot of games in India. Uh, every time India tours, for some reason, he's left out of the 11. Yeah. And sometimes the other guys are doing well. So, misses out on opportunities where there are helpful tracks. Uh, 
you just kept keeps running in. These are tough. The fact that only three guys have got ten wickets yeah. in a game in India in itself tells you how difficult it is to uh, get wickets. And also, you know, there have always been good spinners that India has had. So yeah. they generally run through teams, and the fast bowler doesn't get that opportunity. Hmm. On this particular pitch, the spinners struggled because it was a good pitch, and West Indies uh, batted well. Uh, someone had to step up, and in spite of losing his uh, fellow seam bowler. He's done it. Uh, you know, it's, uh, that's a special performance. It's not the strongest West Indies <coughs> batting lineup that he bowl against, but uh, just to keep running in on that flat pitch every time India needed a wicket uh, came through, uh, and even in the second innings, uh, I think it's uh, because of his breakthroughs yeah. that the life was a lot easier for India. Okay, let me uh, put you in a spot there. What, what does India do going ahead? Because in the pecking order of fast bowlers, he's number four. You've got Bumrah, uh, you've got Bhuvaneshwar, and then you've got Shami, who's ahead of him in Test cricket. Does this performance change that? Yeah, I don't think Bhuvaneshwar Kumar is ahead of him at the moment. In test Un cricket? Unless it's ah. swinging, the ball is going to swing. Mm. I think Ishan Sharma is probably. Those uh -huh. three guys have played ahead of him. Uh -huh. Look, I think those things will keep happening. It's a good problem for the captain to have. If uh -huh. you've got another guy in good form and bowling as well as he has. Uh -huh. Australia, he might be one of the preferred guys uh, with the harder pitches. Uh, you uh -huh. don't know. At, at. Look, at least he's putting up the performance when he's getting an opportunity. Uh -huh. I think even that first test that he played in England, uh -huh. he bowled uh, quite well and then <coughs> sort of they left him out for a spinner and then Bumrah came back and the rest of the guys were bowling well. So, he missed yeah. out. So, but it's a good problem for captain to have uh, to have four or five guys, uh, especially with the tour of Australia coming. If they can keep themselves fit, uh, the captain has lots of options. Okay, I have plenty of questions for our guests, but uh, for any of you who's been watching us on our Facebook page or YouTube live, do send in your questions. I'll try to take uh, a few of them. Uh, going back to now the Indian batting performance, uh, let's start with KL Rahul. We've spoken about you know how he's been a little low on confidence, just thirty odd runs. But but Sanjay Bangar mentioned he wasn't even getting to those thirties. Would have helped him a bit, you say, or not? He would, he would have liked a few more runs that the <laughs> West Indies West Indies had on yeah. the. Board. Yeah. I, I think uh, uh, Jason Holder was really nice to him by not giving Gabriel the ball from the other end. Yeah. <laughs> Gave a yeah. spinner to start with. Mm. No, I mean any time in the middle will help. Uh, I know there's, there was a little bit less pressure uh, now, but uh, considering his form, he was under a bit of pressure, having missed out in the previous two innings. So time in the middle helps. Um, whether these 30 runs get him back into great form, I'm not so sure, but. Okay. Uh, at least he's gone not out, which would have helped uh, him a little bit. Okay, we, we've got a question and I'll take that question to uh, Courtney. Courtney, we've got uh, Divijar asking a question. Were the West Indies guilty of not taking this test match rather seriously? Because, you know, back in the day, no West Indies team would have allowed a youngster like Prithvi Shaw uh, a chance to settle in like this team allowed him to. I think that's a very harsh question to ask. I mean, I don't think they would not take this cricket serious. Yeah. If the performance is not up to scratch, that's a different thing. But I think once you play in test cricket, the guys are going to take it very serious. They're going to give 100%. Um, if this, they still focus, or there, there might be areas in the game that you can question. But once it's a test, once it's a test match, uh, you're going to give it 100%. And you're going to have to take it serious. So I think that the, the two test matches very seriously okay. the approach in the second one you could see improvements but they mm -hmm. just did not be the westerners was not as consistent as they could have been or should have been mm -hmm. the test much mm -hmm. uh, the the point that ajit mentioned in the second innings i know not too many runs for them to play with but uh, no gabriel yeah well, well that, from the first test i realized that he didn't come out and bowl in one in one, one session mm -hmm. So I don't know if he's carrying a niggling injury. I don't know if he was just rested. It's hard to say from being on the outside. Okay. But I mean, I was surprised that even with just you know such a small score to chase, mm. he didn't he didn't come out and bowl even two overs to see what was happening against a batsman who was struggling because mm. um you know you're, you're supposed to have a never say die attitude. If you come and you get two or three early wickets, you know India might be under a little bit of pressure. I don't think okay. it was enough runs not to win the game, but then stranger things have, have happened. So mm. I'm not too sure what happened there. Okay, that's, that's exactly it. I mean. Why would you give it on a platter or make it easy for, for the opposition? Exactly what Courtney says. Try at least a couple of overs. Mm. Uh, anyway, they troubled most of the Indian bat batters with yeah. his pace. Yeah. Uh, yeah, why not at least put you know give something back before? Anyway, you're going down. Yeah. May as well go down with a fight. Okay, uh, let me ask you. Who, we all know who the man of the match is going to be Umesh Yadav for his outstanding performance. Is it? In India, it's usually <laughs> the batsman, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, well, true. I, I don't think this time they can ignore a bowler. He's picked up 10 wickets. Uh, uh, but who would be the man of the series for you? There are a few contenders there. There's Prithvi Shaw there, Rishabh Pant, there's Umesh there too. 
Yeah, I think it. The, I, maybe for from a personal point of view, it might matter to them. But really, yeah. the, I think you you think Prithvi Shaw, especially because of the couple of innings that he's played and the way he's played, he's approached. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's a tough one in a two test series where you know you've won so easily mm-hmm. uh, there have been multiple performances i think mm-hmm. umesh is uh, in this test clearly the the guy who's in front but you know these things i mean there's no in a two test series it's always yeah. hard because uh, like you said you know rishabh pant had couple of top innings uh, yeah tough to, tough to figure out probably okay. prithvi and not because he's from prithvi. mumbai okay <laughs> kotni uh for the man of the series it's going to be a very tough tough call judge huh. has had some good performances he got yeah. wickets he got runs uh-huh. uh uh sharp is in to me i mean on debut the way he batted okay the runs he has scored and the way he has talked about it um would probably be my two top contenders along with yada cuz you can't rule them out for getting 10 wickets in this match so okay. those probably be my my three contenders from the indian point of view okay ajit got two questions coming in for you one uh, harshavardhan reddy wants to know who would be the first spinner for india going to australia oh i mean i i mean there's at least in my opinion ashwin's the better spinner okay. uh, than jadeja I, you know I, I, look jadeja has been pushing him hard now for a uh-huh. place in the team not just with his uh, bowling but uh, you know with the way he's batted in the last couple of tests uh, okay it's it you know at least he's put his name up uh-huh. and uh, you know put a little bit more pressure on ashwin but yeah. i i still want to start with ashwin in that okay. first test if there was going to be one spinner okay it's another question from abhishek and this is an extension of the question that i asked you will you play umesh over bumrah and shami in australia i can't imagine i mean at the moment with the way bumrah and shami have bowled yes. uh, in recent time i don't think he'll he'll you know he'll sort of play ahead of either of them mm-hmm. if he shan't not fit then he automatically comes in for me i mean okay uh then the third seamer but the three guys ishant uh, shami and and bumrah have all done so well in yeah. england yeah. it'll be hard to just uh, displace them because he's got a 10 for it now that's just the that's the reality i mean okay. when you play three uh, unfortunately someone has to miss out all right so the test matches are done and dusted india have dominated that my final question kotni uh, to you for for all those indian fans who expected a closer contest or would w- like to see a closer contest the one days are upon us uh, can we expect the windies uh, with a better performance of course they'll have a change of personnel to win in that particular series yeah well, i would expect them to start to perform a lot better in the shorter version of the game as well but they've been pretty consistent in that but um you know just come back to the test match a little a bit that they should reflect and be disappointed and you know work out how they improve from it but and then try to take that into the one day game and in terms of performance remember what they did wrong and try to correct all of that and it's a different format of the game but it's still cricket on the field of play and if you can improve in all the years that you can and or you need to um you know the, it should be a good sign so i would expect a much better performance from them in, in the odis and to see you know the and they get a lot deeper and whatever they experience again for the guys who are still playing in the ODIs from the test matches to let that carry over as well yeah. because it's cricket you're always learning so you got to keep working at it and try to improve to get better all right uh, we look forward to the one day series courtney watch thanks so much for joining us for these two test matches ajit to you as well uh, we have those two test matches the first one india completely dominated but in the second we saw an improved performance from the windy team uh, but uh, unfortunately it ended in uh, day 3 all because of that one poor performance with the bat from the visiting team as things stand right now india have won the series 2 nil some outstanding performances as we were talking about from the likes of prithvi shaw and then rishabh pant and then umesh yadav being outstanding with the ball that's all that we have for you on ESPN quick info match day thanks so much for watching don't forget to like share subscribe and leave your comments in the comment section below click on the bell icon for notifications